previous session we have discussed about uh, <coughs> in the previous session about um, what is testing what is manual what is automation and in uh, automation what are the different tools available out of that why selenium is very popularly used tool okay and in selenium we have three different uh, three different uh, tools selenium id rc and web driver id and rc has been outdated long back and we are going to learn completely about selenium web driver only here we are going to learn completely about Selenium web driver. <laughs> Let us start learning automation using Selenium web driver. Automation using Selenium web driver. I have a website. I have a website. Imagine that I have a website. This is my website. My website name is abc.com. abc.com. I have username text box. I have a password box. And I have a login button. Login button. I need to login into this application. I have username text box. I have password box. And I have a login button. I need to login into this application. If I want to log in into this application, first I need to open the browser, then I need to open the URL called abc.com, then you enter the username in the username text box, you enter the password in the password box, then click on login button. These are the steps what I have to do. After opening the browser and URL, if I want to enter the username in the username text box, identify this username text box and perform some typing operation. Identify this password box and perform some typing operation. Identify this login button and perform some click operation. Click operation. To do any sort of automation, we will be doing only two steps. One is identifying the element and perform action. Identify the element, perform action. Identify the element and perform action. These are the only two steps what we will be doing to do any sort of automation. Okay. Uh, let me list out those two steps. What are those two steps in the sense? Uh, to list out those two steps first one is identifying the element second one is performing action on it these are the only two steps what we will be doing to do for example if I want to who is that mute your mic oh Sri Devi sorry Sri Devi identifying the element and performing action on that if I have a checkbox if I want to click on the checkbox first I need to identify this element then I need to perform action if I have a radio button identify this element and perform action for example if I have forgot your password link if I want to click on this link first identify this element and perform action on it and perform action on it to do any sort of automation, we will do only two steps. One is identifying the element and second one is performing action on that element. Identifying the element and performing action on that element. Identifying the element and perform action. Identify the element, perform action. To do any sort of automation, we will do only two steps. One is identifying the element and second one is performing action on that element. perform action on that element to identify the element to identify the element we'll use a concept call now identifying the element and performing action on that element identifying the element and perform action these are the only two steps what we'll be learning for our entire course for next uh, 40 hours to identify the elements we don't want to have any basic knowledge on java only to perform action we should have the basic knowledge on java 
okay to identify the elements we should have basic knowledge on html if you have the basic knowledge on html identifying the elements becomes very easy from tomorrow onwards we will start identifying the elements but before identifying the elements we should have the basic knowledge on java sorry basic knowledge on html sorry we should have the basic knowledge on html what we are going to do today is we are going to learn knowledge on html we are going to start learning the basics uh, basics of html so that identifying the elements becomes very easy then afterwards we will start uh, learning java then start performing the action if i want to learn the basic knowledge on html if i develop a small web page if i develop a small web page then identifying the elements becomes very very easy then identifying the elements becomes very easy that's why what i am going to do here is that's why what i am going to do here is we are going to learn the basic knowledge on uh, html by developing a small small web pages by developing a small web pages we are going to start identifying the elements by developing a small web uh, then you might ask a question sir in real time uh, do we develop the web pages no we are not going to develop the develop uh, develop the web pages developers only develop it but if we have that knowledge identifying the elements becomes very easy identifying the elements becomes very easy that's why what we are going to do here is we are going to start learning the basics of uh, html whatever the task what we are going to do today for sure we are not going to do that in real time we are not going to do that developers only do do that does that but we should have that knowledge okay imagine that only for today for next one more hour we are going to be as a developer after that we will be testers again for sure that's why since we are not going to do that i am going to move a little bit fast today also okay from tomorrow onwards we will go very slowly as i said okay that is why i said first few classes are the Uh, yesterday is just a theory session and today is just a, not an important class but we should have this knowledge most of the people who are working in real time also now in selenium also they might think they'll think that i am not a developer right why i have to learn the basics of html by developing the web if you have that mindset if you have that mindset throughout the course you are uh, it will be quite difficult throughout the course it will be quite difficult to develop the web pages throughout the course it will be very difficult to develop the uh, i mean it will be you will be struggling how to identify that element that's why to avoid that confusion to avoid that confusion what we are going to do here is we are going to start developing the web page okay now imagine that i am a developer for today and i am going to start developing the web pages before any developer develops a web page he will be getting the requirements from the client he will be getting the requirements from the client imagine that my client has said me to develop a web page like this imagine that my client has said me to develop a web page like this title of the page should be just a minute let me just welcome to selenium i should have a username text box username text box i need to have a password box I am going to have a button that is login. 
I'm going to have a checkbox that is reports. Have a checkbox that is reports. I'm going to have a male radio button and a female radio button. I'm going to have a link called Google link. Google link. Image. Image. Image with link. What is the difference between image and image with link? Image. It will be as a normal cursor when I mouse over on this. Image with link. When I mouse over on this, it will change to a hand symbol. And when I click on this, it will redirect to some other page. It will redirect to some other page. That's the difference between image and image with link. I'm going to have a single select drop down. multi select drop down text area file choosing button that is browse button these are the different different elements what we find in our web page we have many more elements also if you know how to develop these basic elements in a web page that's sufficient for us that is sufficient we don't want to see we don't want to concentrate on color design and all these things just a basic these elements how these basic web elements are built if you know that that's enough okay now this is called a text box this is called a text box this is called a password box box it's called button this is called a check box check box this is called radio button radio button this is called a link this is called image image with link this one is single select drop down single select drop down multi select drop down select drop down this is called text area the next one is called file choosing button choosing button these are the different different elements what we find in our web page and I am going to start developing this website like ok before any developer develops this uh, okay he will be getting the requirements this is what the exactly the client requirement what I've got it make a quick note of this then I'm going to start developing this web page make it quick quick into your notes
make it quick quick take down the element names also guys take down the element names also take down because why i'm telling you the element names also in the sense when you are explaining any project to the client you have to know about the element when i click on the checkbox when i click on the radio button like that you have to don't tell that when i click on that when i click on this like that don't use that this and all when you are explaining something to the client that's why i'm telling you to take down the element names also any html page will be developed by using a technology called html any web page will be developed by using a technology called html html stands for hypertext markup language okay html writing the html code you can write it anywhere you can write it in wordpad notepad edit plus notepad plus plus whichever the editor you want you can write it whichever the text editor you want you can write it you can write the code in that and while you are saving you have to save with dot html extension while you are saving you have to save with dot html extension while you are saving you have to save with dot html extension you have to save with dot html extension while you are saving you have to save with dot html extension now i am going to write the code inside my notepad itself i am going to use a plain notepad and i am going to start writing the code okay this is the notepad start writing the code any html page will start with html tag and it will end with html tag slash h slash is nothing but ending tag html page is divided into two sections one is head section head closed and body body closed slash body <laughs> okay this is the basic structure of html this is the basic structure of html html is divided into two section head section and body section all my elements whatever i am going to write that will be under the body tag develop whatever it might be it will be under the body tag like text box password box login button radio button all these things will be under the body tag only apart from body like title or some other things what you have that will be under the head tag that will be under the head tag that is how it will be any html page is divided into after writing the code go to file save save under d under classes under batch 240 i am going to create a new folder name this folder as prac it is one or something i am going to save this as sample.html i am going to save this as sample.html sample dot html okay now if i want to see the source code uh, if i want to prove under d under classes 
under batch 240 under this practice one folder I am having this sample.html this is the file what I have created now right click on this go to open with notepad so that you will be able to see the source code whatever you have written if you want to see the source code right click open with notepad if you want to see the output right click open with any of the browser it will open with that particular browser this is the output of that particular file what it has got nothing is there that's why it is displaying an empty page okay R going further what I will do I'll write the code here press control s I don't want to open the file each and every time to see the output already I have opened the output if I just refresh this I'll get the updated code this is how you have to set the platform write the code here press control s here come back here and refresh you will be getting the updated code okay take down heading as basic structure of HTML and take down this take down heading as basic structure of HTML and take down this Okay. any HTML page starts with HTML tag and end with HTML tag write the code here press ctrl s save this go back here and write to open with the browser it will open now the first requirement of my web page is the title of the page should be welcome to selenium title should be under the title tag title as welcome to welcome to selenium welcome to selenium the title of the page should be welcome to selenium press control yes press control yes control yes save this now I, if I want to see the output I have to right click open with the browser but already I have opened that see now if I click on this refresh I will get the updated code here that is the title of the page will change see here when I click on this it has changed as yes, welcome to selenium this is how to generate the title next the first requirement in my web page is I need to have a text box and I need the label of the text box username text box input type equal to text so that it will create a text box so that it will create a text box if I refresh this I got a text box input type equal to checkbox so that it will create a checkbox so that it will create a checkbox input type equal to radio so that I will be able to create a radio button input type equal to text so that it will be able to create a text box done this is how to create a text box okay but I need the label for the text box as username so that I am going to give the label as username username text box I need the text box as username <coughs> I need the text box as username next same way I need to have the password box see username first name you would have saw some government forms username first name 
last name like this and I refresh this I am getting this form this is how you will be having the form also this is how they will create a form when there are too many elements all the elements all the text boxes will have the same code there should be variation between each and every co a a code elements code that's why what normally people will be doing id equal to u name so that that refers to username id equal to f name id equal to l name to differentiate between the source code of each and every element it is better to give a unique id or name without that also you will be able to create the elements but that makes a good sense of doing the programming okay that is why follow the po follow the principles if you are a developer okay that is how to create a username text box all the elements will have the same code but id equal to u name will not be there for that uh, if, uh, first name and last name that is why to differentiate that guys have are you understanding what i am telling here everyone yes or no will you will you be able to do this after the class Wasim, will you be able to do this, Wasim? Yes, sir. yes. Okay. Now, next one is password uh, password box. Password uh, ID equal to PWD. So that I am able to create a password box. Can I have password box like this? No. Password box should take encrypted characters always. Input type equal to password so that I will be able to create a password box done username text box password box like this next one is as per my next requirement I need to have a button don't think that we have to remember all this code you do not remember any code at all because we are not developers input type equal to button so that it will create a button input type equal to button so that I will be able to create a button name as either I can give input type equal to button or else input type equal to submit or else I can give input type equal to submit so that I will be creating the button name itself as submit I will be creating the button name itself as submit username text box password box and submit button normally developers won't use uh, I mean no I don't want the button name as submit I need the button and I need the button name as uh, login not before the button or after the button if I want before the button I can give here if I want after the button I can give here but I need on the button that's why I'm going to pass an attribute called value equal to login or else whatever the value I pass here if I give Pratap also it will create the button name as Pratap value equal to login what happened oh. button name as login it is better to give good ID ID equal to login button ID equal to login button input type equal to button ok next input type equal to checkbox so that I will be able to create a checkbox yes I have created a checkbox ok it is better to give ID equal to REP. I'm going to name this as reports so that I have created a checkbox with the label as reports after the checkbox. Since I need after the checkbox, I have given here. This is how to create. You don't want to remember any source code at all. If you want to see any source code, right click and inspect, you will be able to see the source code. You have to understand here, understand the source code this input is the tag name input tag is the child tag of body tag body tag is the child tag of HTML tag input is a tag name type is an attribute type attribute has a value called text this both together called as attribute value pair 
id is one attribute id attribute has a value called uname uh, both together called as id and uname both together called as attribute value pair any element is built with a tag name and may multiple attribute value pairs will be there that is what you have to understand you do not remember any source code and all here this input tag is the child tag of body tag this body tag is the child tag of html tag this is what the same way for facebook also if you want to see the source code you can just see the source code of the facebook also right click and inspect you will be able to see the source code of that facebook also you have to understand this input is the ch tag name it has multiple attribute value pairs this is what you have to understand that we'll see going further once we are going to start identifying the elements basically i am guiding you how to develop the elements inside a web page write a code in the notepad save this with dot html and open the dot html file with the browser you will be able to see the output okay next the next element is i need to create a radio button i need to create a radio button input is the tag to create the radio button type equal to radio so that i will be able to create a radio button so that i will be able to create a radio button yes this is how to create a radio button but i don't want the radio button here i want the radio button in the next line i want the radio button in the next line if you want that in the next line what i can do is br tags breaking reference break the reference and bring it to the next line break the reference and bring it to the next line but normally developers won't use any br tags for breaking and bringing why because if they use br tags alignment over the cross browser will get mismatch in this chrome browser that might look good in opera safari and other browsers that might not look good that's why we won't use that that's why we won't use that okay now what developers will do in that case what they will do here is they'll create a table and put all the radio buttons in one table they'll create a table and put all the links in one table they'll create a table and put all the images in one table they'll create a table and put all the select drop downs in one table they'll create a table and put all the other elements in one table other elements in one table <coughs> create the elements to create the elements tables okay see for example if one radio button is here and if another radio button he is here they cannot group both the radio buttons together i mean up based upon their convenient however they feel convenient they will group the different different elements in a table now this male and female radio button should be in one table with one row and two columns this google link should be in one table with one row and one column this image and image with link should be in one table with one row with two rows and one column in each row okay the single select drop down and multi select drop down should be in one table with one row and two columns likewise each and every <coughs> element should be in a particular table and everything now this male and female radio button should be in a table like this a table with one row and two columns table tag should start with table should start with table tag and it should end with table tag should have one row tr should have two columns td as one column and td as another column tds one column and tds another column here i need to have male radio button here i need to have female radio button male 
manual radio button and film. This is how a table with one row inside that one row I have two columns. TD is nothing but table data that is nothing but column is called as table data here. A table with one row inside that one row I have two columns. Two columns. Okay. This is the table structure. I know that today's topic is will be quite boring but still take down only this table structure take down only this table structure Okay, next I am going to start creating the elements inside the table. Should start with table tag and it should end with table tag. Should have TR. should have two TDs TD two TDs first TD and second TD TD a table with one TR TR and it should have two TDs first TD and second TD here I need to have 
male radio button here i need to have female radio button here i need to have male radio button and female radio button input type equal to radio so that i will be able to create a radio button radio button input type equal to radio so that i will be able to create male and female radio button male radio button and female radio button male radio button and female radio button the, this is how uh, a table with one row it is better to give id or name id equal to male so that i am able to create a male radio. Uh, normally it is in a table but i am unable to see the table why because i didn't give border for the table border equal to one border equal to thickness one border equal to thickness one I need to create a female radio button similarly I need to create a female radio button female radio button see normally when developers are developing they will be creating inside a table after the development is completely done right after the development is completely done I will remove border for the table I will remove border for the table so that that will be inside the table that will be inside a table table should start with table tag and it should end with table tag that is how I can see that is how developers will can I select both male and female radio button at a time is it possible to select both male and female radio button at a time no it's not possible out of both only one should get selected in that case group both the radio buttons by using a common name name equal to gender and I am going to give name equal to gender I can group by using a common name group by using a common name grouping should be done by using a common name grouping should be done by using a common name out of both only one will get selected that is how if you have five cities out of the five cities if you want to select only one I can use a common name to that five cities radio button uh, 
this is what next I need to create a link this link Google link should be in one table with one row and one column should be in one table with one row and one column should be in one table with one row and one column here I need to have Google link Google link a is a tag to create the link href is equal to https colon double slash www dot google dot com a. whatever the text I give here that it will be displayed there whatever the text it is there that it will be displayed when I click on this it will redirect to that particular href yes that is how to create a link I don't want the link as Pratap I need the link as Google I need the link as Google so that give Google that's it. this is about how to create a link I have created a link as Google when I click on this it will redirect to google.com next as per my next requirement image and image with link 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 should be in one table with two rows with two rows and one column in each row and one column in each row should be in one table with one row and one column should be in one table with one row and one column ok a table with two rows and one column in each row with two rows here I have one row and another row a table with two rows first row and second row each row should have one each column this is one column and this is one column IMG is the tag to display the IMG is the tag to display the image ok but if I want to display the image I need some image so that what I am going to do download that image home.jpg download some image and put that image there save images or some image under D under pra uh, practice one I am going to save this as home.jpg image and image with link image and image with link IMG is the tag to display the image SRC equal to home dot jpg SRC equal to home dot jpg this is how to display the image ok since my HTML file and home dot jpg since both are inside the same folder 
since both are inside the same folder I can directly give the file name I can directly give the file name directly giving the file name src equal to home dot jpg Now I don't want uh, see if this home.jpg is inside some different folder under C drive under images folder then you have to give C colon slash images slash home.jpg okay that is how to do I'm going to have width equal to 100 width equal to 100 so that it will display uh, the image also in a sound ok next I need to display image with link here if I want to display image with link I am going to copy paste the same code of that link if I do that I uh, will be getting a link I will be creating a link but I don't want this link here Google link I instead of this text Google instead of this text Google I need a image I need the image image so that what I can do if I want image instead of this Google copy this and paste it here image and image with link image and image with link see image mouse over on, when I mouse over on this image with link when I click on this it will redirect to some other page that's the difference between image and image with link image with link it will redirect to some other page that's the difference between image and image with link next image and image with link next the next element what I have to develop only four more elements are left single select drop down multi select drop down single select drop down and multi select drop down should be in one table with two rows and one column in each row with one row and two columns with one row and two columns here I need to have a single select drop down here I need to have a multi select drop down select is the tag to create a single select drop down id equal to city select id equal to city id equal to city create a single select drop down I need some options inside that I need some options inside that if you want some options option value equal to 1 option I need uh, option name as Bangalore Bangalore
टू चेन्न थ्री मुंबई फोर्थ डेलि This is how to get multiple options here. This is how to create a single select drop down. How to create a single select drop down? Next, I need to create a multi select drop down. The same code I am going to copy that and paste it here. Single select drop down and multi select drop down. single select drop down and multi select drop down multi select drop down how i want to make that as a multiple select drop down so that what i can do multiple equal to true so that i'll be able to create a multi select drop down multi select drop down how to create a single select drop down and multi select drop down create a single select drop down and multi select drop down next text area and file choosing button text area and file choosing button text area is the tag to create a uh, text area and file choosing button here uh, yeah, uh, table with one row and two columns here i need to create a text area text area id equal to description text area is the tag to create a text area okay file choosing button input type equal to file so that i will be creating a file choosing button a file choosing button id equal to id equal to browser or something i will name it that's it. this is all about hardly we took one hour we have learned how to develop this web page okay i know that this co uh, code is quite lengthy to take down you cannot take down this i am going to give you some shortcut if you want to remember all these things also i am going to give you some shortcuts element tag name mandatory attribute attribute value additional attribute attribute value value attribute value tag name text box input type equal to equal to text id or name 
that is user defined hello i am in class can i call you after lunch i am in meeting defined text box password box input type equal to password id or name that is user defined input text box password box button input type equal to button id sorry not button or submit i can give submit value that is button name next one is check box input type equal to check box id and name that is user defined sorry id or name next one is radio button input type equal to radio that is id and name that is user defined next one is link a is the tag create the link href equal to url id or name that is user defined link image img src equal to file name id or name that is user defined next one is single select drop down select drop down select is the tag to create a single select drop down id or name that is user defined multi select drop down select multiple equal to true id or name that is user defined next text area text area is the tag to create the text area id or name that is user defined file choosing button input type equal to file id or name that is user defined that's it okay this is all about how to create the web page if i have this see you can take down this code also this is quite lengthy to take down so that what i did here is the same code whatever it is there i have hosted that in the slash sample dot html slash sample dot html that code in sample.html okay if you want to see the source code of any web page right click view page source or press control u you will be getting the source code complete source code okay this is the website i have given this website so that you don't want to take down the complete code here so that you can start uh, if you have that url and press control u you will be getting the source code okay and if you want to take down the shortcuts you can take down the shortcuts take down this url if you into your notes if you want krn informatics tix dot com slash sample dot html Now, 
take down these shortcuts. Okay.